Hello, hello again to another Agri Color React. Today we'll be watching NASA Trailblazer Katrin Johnson from National Geographic. If I'm not mistaken, Katrin Johnson is um, a ma is a was she mathematician? She was very good with numbers for NASA um, way back before during the um, first flights to space, I think, and sending people to ma moon. I'm not sure. We're gonna learn anyway. I think the Hidden Figures movie was with was about her. I haven't se I've seen it like a few years ago, so I don't really remember too much. Okay, let's just get into it and let's just watch. I liked what I was doing. I liked work, but little did I think it would go this far. Katherine Johnson. Katherine G. Johnson. Katherine Johnson. Lift off. The clock has started. Mathematics is the basis of the whole thing. You graduated from high school at 14, college at 18. Everybody knew you had a big old brain on you by that time. But I didn't know but it. But you didn't know it. <laughs> Man. You're either right or you're wrong. That I liked about it. She always loved numbers. The professor said, I think you'd make a good math researcher. She said, well, what's that? He said, well, that's for you to find out. That was her dream. Katherine Johnson found her way to Hampton, Virginia, and there is NASA. NASA was hiring black mathematicians just opened it up to women. I was finally going to find out what a research mathematician did. Those women took a seat and that changed our country. Katherine Johnson was a trailblazer. She became what was known then as a, as a computer or a calculator or a human computer. Courage is just one of many words that describe this woman. Being the first woman in a room of all white men in a time when that was not popular. The courage to even walk in that room mm -hmm. with your head held high. I don't think many people could do that. Yeah. When I think about my experiences and those with Katherine Johnson, I am completely in awe. She overcame so much more over prejudice, so many more challenges than I was ever faced with. In 1957, when the Russians launched the Sputnik satellite, the space race then became her job. Calculating trajectories for Mercury missions and Project Apollo. Katherine Johnson was so good at what she did, they needed her as an engineer. When they had briefings, I asked permission to go. And they said, well, the girls don't usually go. And I said, well, is there a law? I began attending the briefings, and gradually I did more. The eagle has landed. When they were leaving the moon, going back, that was the part that I worried about. They should be exactly correct on that. And I was sitting there hoping I'm right, too. <laughs> <laughs> Without mathematicians, those great moments wouldn't have happened. In her 33 years at NASA, Catherine was a pioneer who broke the barriers of race and gender. Everyone can excel in math and science and reach for the stars. Even though everyone is good at maths, huh? Somebody thinks that she received and honors her favorite thing to receive were oh. letters from children. Mm. Catherine Johnson has taught me not to let anyone bring me down and that women are capable of doing anything they want to do. Catherine Johnson has taught me to believe in myself and my capabilities. <laughs> Catherine Johnson was an amazing African American female mathematician who changed That's the so world. cute. Because of Catherine and at NASA, we've embraced that diversity of thought only improves our capacity to make change both in outer space and here on Earth. 
now younger versions of myself don't have to wait until they're an adult to finally hear about her. To let her be a role model in their lives today. My problem was to answer questions. And I did that to the best of my ability at all times. And it was a joy. Sorry guys, stories like that make me tear up. Oh. Mm. She nearly, she lived 98 years, 92 years, is it? I'm counting it right? Yes. No, wait! How am I counting? 1918 to 2020? That's 102! Guys, my maths, I wouldn't, I would not do what she was doing with that math like this. Yeah, she was born in 1918 19, and she died in 2020, so that's 102, not 98. Jesus, I nearly took away four years out of her. Anyway, um, I don't know if you've seen the Fig Hidden Figures movie. It's absolutely brilliant movie to watch uh, it shows a lot of uh, struggles of women of black women especially in America it's very um, it just kind of like you know like I'm coming from Poland where I grew up with no people of color around so to me racism is kind of like abstract it was abstract um, idea I think I've seen it in the t in the movies and stuff like that but obviously like I'm not saying there is no racism in Poland there is racism everywhere I can see it every day like and um, but America is so different about it and watching someone who was a woman in the times where women supposed to be in the kitchens of the houses and have dinners ready for their husbands and stuff like that and actually you know, making important things for NASA, for sending people into outer space to moon and all that. That was very, I think, uh, powerful. Anyway, did you see the movie? Did you ever hear about Katrin Johnson before this, watching this reaction to, uh, of mine? Okay. That was really nicely done by National Geographic. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!